welcome to Joburg Today. My name is Mavs. Today's show is for all the animal lovers. Take a look at our feature to see what went down at the World of Dogs, Cats and Pet Exhibition at the Gallagher Convention Center. Johannesburg public love their pets and, and seem to have a great time coming to the show. We've got uh, some very nice horse displays this year. We've also got uh, the koi fish and we've also got some of the South African uh, budgies on the show. We've never had budgies before but uh, we've got the budgie regards this year. Uh, we've got, and then there's also every, you know, everybody's favourite is our reptile area. They love that and then our cats. We've got the Hall of Cats which have I think there's about 200 of the top cats in the country it will be on display this weekend and then obviously the main part of the show which is the dogs. Basically the actual treasures we, we have here at the show, um, it's the first time that we're actually making a, bi a big uh, impact about them uh, for the show to uh, educate the public that uh, certain, certain uh, types, of, types of tarantulas, um, it's like a spider, uh, some of them are, are good to keep as pets and, uh, and others are a bit too aggressive to keep as pets. So basically um, in a nutshell they're more of a show type of animal, like you would with a fish in a tank kind of thing. Um, the certain spiders has got more, there's more toxic venom than others. Uh, can give you quite a nasty bite, uh, a bit of swelling in that. But if you're not, uh, if you're not allergic to bees, those bites are not really serious or anything to worry about. If you are allergic to bees, then uh, the, the bites can be serious enough that it can send you to the uh, the ICU kind of thing. to see the animals do tricks and I'm most excited of the reptiles. Well the first thing I come here for is to see the animals, you know. If you see the shows where the dogs can jump and I look at my own dog at home and say why can't my dog do that? I'm excited to see all of it because um, I love dogs <laughs> and cats and horses. We always come, every year we enter with our dogs and it's just a fun show to come to. I'm excited to see the horses. It is true that Joburgers love their animals. As you can see, the world of dogs, cats and pets exhibition has something for all animal lovers. Mapula Malaji for Joburg Today. How's it? I'm Alan and you're watching Joburg Today. Keep in touch with us through social media by following us on Twitter at Joburg Today, liking our Facebook page, joburgtoday.tv, and don't forget, hashtag Joburg Today. Also, while on the go, check us out on pockettv.mobi, and that is Pocket with an I. Enviros and Pet Crematorial and Memorial Park helps families lay their pets to rest in the most respectable manner. Envirison Pet Crematorium and Memorial Park is situated in a quiet area on Homestead Road in Kia Sands. Anything under 100 kilograms that you can think of we've probably cremated here. We've done pythons from the zoo, um, we've done lions, baby lions, we've done a baby giraffe, we've done sheep, we've done a tortoise, we've done koi fish, a rat. Uh, the list is endless and very soon we hope to be doing horses as well. We've got the crematorium on site, we've got five different cremators, two of which do mass cremations where you don't get the pet's ashes back um, and another two that do individual cremations where we can do the cremation on its own and then send the ashes back to you. If people want uh, to have a, an individual cremation but not take the ashes home as some people do then we offer this memorial park uh, where they're able to put the ashes of their pet either in this wall or down in a, in a more traditional type grave. So we provide a range of urns. We have a, a standard uh, Maranti wooden box which we supply the ashes in normally, but we do have a range of other caskets and urns as well which people are able to choose from. Um, and then a very interesting thing that we do, which we get a lot of inquiries about but not many takers, is uh, we've teamed up with a company called Life Gem from Chicago in the USA and we're able to take the ashes of pets or humans we send them to the states, they extract the carbon from those ashes um, and they then place that carbon under a high temperature, high pressure environment and we can give you back a diamond from your pet's ashes. In 1996 we started with five veterinary hospitals 
and that's grown to about 200 veterinary hospitals in Gauteng and we service another 100 down in KwaZulu-Natal. Um, people who come here and make use of either our Wall of Remembrance or the Memorial Park, generally they would come once every few years and come and visit you know, the place where their pet is interned. Um, so we have, we have an open door policy, we allow people to come here, we have a viewing room where if, the, if they want to spend some time with their pet's body before it goes into the cremators, they're able to do that as well and say their final goodbyes. Pets are not only our best friends, but also family, and that is why they also need to be laid to rest in the most respectable way. And Virusin helps us do just that. Mapula Malachi for Joburg Today. Hi, my name is Kimisha, and you're watching Joburg Today. Meet Hesina, the extraordinary fire and therapeutic dog. If your child comes home telling you that there was a fire dog at the school, then they really get the attention. And that is where we want it, because now the child takes the message home. Hesina also does um, some educational programs. She does uh, fire and life safety education. So all that that means is that she does the motions of our safety programs. Stop, drop and roll, crawl low under smoke, cooler burn. So what a child does is they go on visual. So what they see, they will mimic. Hasina is the only dog in the, in the world that actually does um, both of these things together. We have had successful um, stories of drownings where children saw their friends drown and um, after we extracted the, the, the information from the children because they don't want to speak to the SAP, they're afraid of them and I come with a dog, I introduce them, I get them used to her and after we then discover the bodies I take them away from the scene and I sit with them and they play with Hasina either brushing her especially for all the girls, brushing her teeth, putting perfume. Um, then they open up and what I, I just need to ask one question and they just spill the beans because they're preoccupied. And often I drive home crying um, because of that bond that happened, because it is absolutely a gift from God. Hi, I'm Roxanne Rodemeyer and you're watching Joburg Today. Check out the special focus section to see what is happening in and around Johannesburg to see where Joburg is heading. Check out Joburg tomorrow. That's it from me, Maps. I leave you with Bright Lights by Just Ginger. Back in ETV. You can only find the great white light When you're not looking And you should only look when you're willing to see What's surrounding you, please Come on, don't look away It'll all come back to haunt you to yourself you owe it to believe in you 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 can't take control again you can be the change my friend when you see What you want, and yet you find another baby. You can wait patiently, and you will see there is love in your heart. Come on, 
Don't look away. It'll all come back to haunt you. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to believe in you. You can take control again. You can be the change, my friend. If you see. Who you are.